Hi, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Abia Lyons. I am from Island Innovation. I am a project manager there, but I'm also one of the organizers of the Island of Hope. I hope everyone had a great lunch because we still have a lot to look forward to, so let's jump right in. Our first session this afternoon is a fireside chat with Ms. Sana Taktak of the Occupational Health and Dr. Wait, sorry. Ms. Sana Taktak, who is um, an Occupational Health Doctor and President of the Association of Continuity of Generations. She will be accompanied by Ms. Stacy Alvarez de Campa, the Caribbean Climate Justice Lead Facilitator and they'll be having a conversation on sustainable tourism and climate justice in Keys and Kirkinan Islands through the local community and women engagement. I would like to invite Ms. Sana Taktak to the stage, along with Ms. Stacey Alvarez de la Campa. Hi everyone, it's great to see you all here. Thanks so much for taking the time to come to this amazing initiative, the Island of Hope. It's surreal in a good way, and it's really wonderful to see all of you here. So without further ado, as, I, as we said, we are going to be talking to Dr. Kiskis. She's an occupational health doctor, and she has an incredible presentation for us which showcases some of the sustainable tourism initiatives in Kirkenan Island. So I'd like to just make room so that you all can see the presentation. Thank you. So, um, okay. I would... Uh, Thank you uh, to give me this opportunity to share our experience uh, from uh, Tunisia country. And um, I will share uh, our experience uh, in Kirkena Island and Knees Island. So Kirkena Island uh, are located, uh, islands are located 20 kilometers off uh, the Sfax side uh, in south of Tunisia. And uh, the total area is estimated about 160 kilometers. Uh, Kirkena is a natural reserve. It is also a wetland, Ramsar, and it is characterized by many spice species, about 122, uh, 122 species, uh, marine species, and uh, biodiversity, bird biodiversity, and also palms. There is uh, a, a big problem of climate change impact. Uh, there is a problem of rising seas and erosion, marine pollution, and the decline of traditional activities is leading to demographic erosion on the island with the local labor force migrati migrating to the mainland. Also, isolation and the lack of development opportunities have generated major problems of which young people have been victims and are turning to illegal migration. Our work was with many uh, uh, funders and uh, international organizations as VVF at the first. We start with a project about climate uh, justice uh, in uh, Kirkina. And uh, we, um, in this project, we start working with the local communities, women, uh, fishermen, fisherwomen, farmers, and uh, young people also. And we uh, discover that they, they have no idea about climate change. So we start working with them to make them uh, aware about this uh, phenomenon. And uh, after this, we make... Uh, many sessions of um, workshops and um, for uh, building capacity. And we, we find uh, this is empowerment of local community. And after that, uh, we, we find that these people uh, know the climate change problems, but they don't know what, uh, how we can tell the, the name of the, the, the phenomena. And uh, we say after uh, this work uh, uh, and building capacity, we say these uh, women, they are, we make advocacy, 
they change their behavior, they talk to everyone about this phenomena, and uh, they are, uh, uh, there are fisher, fisher women who speak about uh, their experience, and the small-scale fisheries, uh, they uh, make um, uh, comments about what, what the problems that they, um, they have in their island. This is the, uh, also uh, this project uh, uh, with the VVF uh, about uh, climate justice um, give us the opportunity to have more and more projects. So with a small grant program, uh, with the IUCN, uh, with JZ, and uh, we, uh, we continue working now not only in empowerment and building capacity, but in, um, in activity on the fields. So we give them plants, and uh, uh, like palms, like uh, uh, other uh, plants which are very specific of the island, we, uh, we find that they are, have uh, a good best practices, and uh, they, um, they, are, they have good uh, storytellers, and they share with us, so they share with us many uh, natural-based solutions. They don't know that they are natural-based solutions, but they give us this opportunity to know about this, and we have, uh, we can uh, see after this presentation, a small book about these best practices. So, we also discover that traditional uh, work of these women and traditional clothes and how they uh, transform um, uh, the, uh, the palms into uh, small-scale fisheries. Then, um, we introduced this women and this local community into a dynamic of uh, to have, uh, to ameliorate their uh, look at the, the, their economic and social uh, situation. So, uh, we go from climate change justice to a, pro a problem of environment issues to, a pro to an issue of economic and social uh, conditions. So, we uh, uh, promote their product and we work on tourism, sustainable tourism and gastronomic tourism. It was uh, a new uh, project with the JEZ and other the, uh, local uh, partner and national partner, uh, the government, and we make a kind of uh, a tour. It is a road map uh, culinary tour in Kirkina. We uh, uh, involve all the local communities and uh, private sector, hotels, uh, uh, services, and we create with uh, uh, young people a startup uh, in this, uh, this uh, tour. So, oh. okay, this is our um, last uh, activity in the, uh, we present uh, a story. We have a, a new startup who, who take, talk uh, about a story. Is a storyteller, but he's now his uh, job is to present uh, the tradition and uh, the sustainable uh, work uh, in uh, in Kerkena. Uh, and uh, this is our participation in the event of uh, Island uh, Innovation uh, as ambassador in 2023. And uh, in this activity, uh, we um, we. Um, uh, present our new uh, cabin, welcome cabin, which is uh, uh, for visitors and for tourists, and where women can present their traditional uh, meal, etc. And even uh, young people participate. So uh, we create a kind of a dynamic uh, activities in this island uh, around the sustainability. Sorry for my English. <laughs> so this is uh, also working on uh, other points uh, uh, in the ecotourism. We find uh, uh, an enterprise, private enterprise, which is Salinas, and they uh, they were closed. They uh, were um, 
they, they don't work and communicate with the, the others. And we, um, through a project with the um, uh, MedArt Sal project, NECBC Med, uh, and uh, we, um, cha we make a, ch a big change and a big impact. The enterprise opened her, uh, its door to local community and to visitor, and now the Salinas is not an enterprise uh, which is closed. No, it's open to everyone, and uh, where uh, we can uh, uh, share their uh, their products of uh, salt, and they make uh, cyclotourism, and they see bird watching, etc. This is the different uh, birds existing in the island. Uh, this is the story of. Uh, Kirkina, but it's um, a long, long story. Uh, then uh, uh, l'Association of Continuity of Generations is working on islands uh, and coastal area. This is uh, uh, what we, we make a kind of uh, Android application. I can uh, uh, see you, the, show you this uh, application where we put all the tour, ecotourism tour, Il Knees Island, Kirkena Island, so to make uh, them known. Now I will talk uh, about uh, Knees Island, which is another one. There is no people uh, living in this island, but around the island, the fishermen, farmers, and uh, uh, women collecting clams and fishermen. So this is island that have also, uh, it is in Sfax, so, uh, 65 kilometers away in the south, and uh, it is uh, now, um, it has problems of overfishing, illegal fishing, climate change, uh, problems of uh, biodiversity, many uh, species are in the red list, and pollution, and emergency, uh, emergence and development of glass uh, collectors activities. Uh, so we have, uh, and the site management priority and the association is co-manager with the, the government, uh, government institution. Uh, and this is, it's very uh, specific in Tunisia how uh, uh, an NGO become um, a leader and uh, a co-manager with the government. So uh, it is very important. And um, uh, that's why it, uh, now it is uh, classified as MPA because of all of this problem. And we are working there about 10 years. So it is um, an MPA because of, of all of these problems. And uh, you know that MPA is a tool to make uh, uh, more preservation. Voila. So what are we are doing in our NGO? We make surveillance and vigilance. We have uh, people working in, uh, from local community working uh, in uh, the NGO, and they are uh, all the time on the site. They look uh, if there is a, a problem of um, illegal uh, fishery or any problem. For example, here we uh, uh, see that is, there is appearance uh, of, a new, of a new island, if you can see, say, uh, and we say, for example, how the problem of erosion. Uh, we make also scientific monitoring. Uh, so the young people working in the uh, NGO, they uh, uh, make uh, see the veget monitoring of vegetation, uh, see grass beds, uh, crab, uh, uh, posidonia, uh, uh, spatula, spatula. <laughs> Uh, bird watching, so it is not only working on the field with local community, but it's also scientific uh, work, Ma measurement of physical and chemical parameters, and we have the results each time we uh, share these results on our site, uh, website. Uh, this is uh, our experience in artificial reefs, so because there is uh, illegal uh, uh, fishery, so, and this work is, uh, um, we, in this work, we involve all the fishermen, so all the stakeholders are uh, uh, involved and engaged what, in what uh, we are doing, and to um, um, encourage them to don't use 
the illegal fishery, we uh, give them a kind of small scale fisheries tools to uh, fishermen. So this is uh, net and uh, this is uh, NAS. So I don't know NAS in, in English. Uh, this one this is for the uh, blue crab because blue crab uh, make uh, the first invasive, uh, invasive species and uh, uh, the first they um, give many problems. So now we give them, uh, we uh, valorize this kind of invasive and uh, this is uh, the, what we, uh, uh, w our work with fishermen, so we give them uh, guidelines for uh, uh, good practices and uh, we have a kind of charts where they uh, uh, sign of to be to a good governance or a good uh, uh, responsible fishermen. We also work with women um, in many activities and with the children. We, ha we create a class of biodiversity and we create for them these tools. So everyone in the, uh, around the island is involved and know everywhere about his island. For, for sustainable tourism, we have uh, good travels, but respectable tourism. Uh, we cannot be, for example, uh, uh, in the period of nidification, we say. And uh, we make uh, cyclotourism. We give the, to women the, the opportunity to, f to uh, present their uh, products and uh, meals. And also uh, agriculture, agri-tourism. <laughs> Okay, this is also the, uh, the tools uh, to communicate, to valorize it. This is a project, uh, CNES Chining, uh, with the SPARAC and the NECBC uh, MED. Uh, we can make a kind of uh, uh, to, to valorize it, and also flyers and uh, uh, Android application. This is this one, so, and tools. Um, and to talk about these islands, we, uh, uh, we uh, um, organize forum, the forum, the first forum of biodiversity. Uh, here, the first time that the, the Ministry of Agriculture uh, go to this, uh, <laughs> to this uh, uh, region, to this area, and uh, uh, even the, the rep representative of the government, and we you see the, the photo, it was a uh, uh, scientific forum and also uh, working on the field. I finish. The second forum was in uh, September, uh, 12th of September 20, 2023, and where we involve also, uh, it was about the uh, transition, uh, ecology transition and uh, management of ecosystem. And also in this uh, kind of forum, we have scientists and uh, uh, experts uh, who share their experience. At the same time, we make a kind of visit. And here uh, we organize this uh, forum with uh, a new network uh, in North Africa, uh, which is uh, Rona said. And uh, we make, uh, uh, and the CNES in this forum was classified as uh, um, uh, the tour of uh, uh, ecotourism. This is all the stakeholders and all the funders. So we work uh, uh, especially with all uh, the institution of the government uh, and um, or, or professional organization, um, local uh, uh, association and the organization. And we have all of these uh, funders who, uh, um, who are uh, with us. And thank you for your attention. <laughs>